Charlie's restaurant that we found in the guidebook. These are pictures taken on uh, July 30th from Paya, right after having breakfast at Charlie's. on the way to Hana, which is one of the high points where the wind surfers normally are. It's a pretty overcast day. We've got a light drizzle, which we understand is very unusual for Maui this time of the year. The locals love it because it means it's, they don't need to water so much. So we're not going to go down and, hey, look, and go in the water. Surfing. But there, there's a surfer up there. Got him, Dad? Oh, I just went off the board. And there's a, there's a snorkeler down there looking at the coral. You have to be very careful with the coral. Yep.
There's a river down there and there's a bridge over here. So I'm filling this stuff at Mark Mom's tent. We're at mile marker 11 on the way to Hana. We've missed the Twin Falls, but we're at the bridge at the Pukukamoa stream. And we're walking on to some waterfalls. We've passed some lovely bamboo and what have you. go down. Oh, we've made it to the top. No, I think it still goes. Ah. That's pretty. But it's not like they're going. No. Please come back. Right where the man was standing before. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, This, we were wrong before. That wasn't the 11 mile marker. This is the 11 mile marker. And did you notice the picnic those people? Did you get pictures of the picnic people in No. Okay. Well, look at how the vine, all the giant vines that are crawling up the trees and what have you. It's great. Black lava rocks. Can you give a comment to them? This is the Kenai Peninsula Overlook. The view from our left is where we've just come from. And you can see all the clouds, all the rain we've been in. So we swing around, we see the their patties for that must be tower roots growing down there. Let's see the black lava rocks. Coconut plantation. And we're about 18 miles from home. Kids are still in the car. They're waiting to get a, an ice, so they figure if they stay in the car, we won't be here as long. We're halfway 
the halfway to Hana store here. These are people we don't know who happen to be getting a icy at the store. Now let me swing around here. This is my first recording, so I don't know. There we go. There's Daddy having his. His blue one is all now. It's Christopher and Karen. They're really enjoying this. Yum, yum, yum. There's Daddy. He's eating Karen's ice. His pretext for this is that um, he just wants to make sure that she doesn't spill it all and help to be careful and stuff like that. But if I were to stand here and take this, he'd be eating hers and hers. Christopher. God, did you have the name for the lie? Led from her cruel husband, the chief Kai Kai. She hid on a ledge just inside the underwater entrance to this cave, just where we saw before. A faithful serving maid sat across from her, fanning the princess with a feather cowl. Kaheli, symbol of royalty. Noticing the reflection of the Kaheli in the water, the chief chief Kakai discovered Popolaya's hiding place and killed her. 
At certain times of the year, tiny red shrimp appear in the pool, turning the water red. Some say as a reminder of the blood of the slain princess. Great. Okay.